Hi guys, in this video we're gonna make use of the newly released LCDs by 4D systems, the Gen 4 LCD series. The Gen 4 modules generally features an intelligent color TFT LCD display with resistive touch or capacitive. It is powered by the feature-rich 4D systems Diablo 16 graphics processor. Besides touch detection, it also features an access to micro SD card functionalities, GPIOs, multiple millisecond resolution timers, audio generation, and a lot more. I'm Joseph from 4G Systems and we're gonna do a project that makes use of the touch capabilities of the Gen 4. The following items are used for this project. If you currently don't have the Gen 4 LCDs on you right now, you can buy them at 4dsystems.com.au. The workshop for is the IDE used for this project with VC as the main environment. And if you wanna see the example code, kindly visit the provided links down below. And whenever you're ready, let's upload the program to the LCD. Connect your Gen 4 to the PC. Make sure your LCD is connected to the right COM port. Finally, simply click on the Compile and Load button. The workshop may ask for an SD card. Simply insert the SD card in the computer to save the images used for the project. This will compile and load the code into your Gen 4. Simply insert the SD card at the back of your LCD, and you will see the LCD similar to that of the YCWIG what you see is what you get area. Now let's have some fun and play with the Gen 4 Touch features. This project has 4 pages you can slide through. This page includes 3 LED digits that is used as a clock. From here, you can swipe right or left. While this page includes a static text widget and touch region capability. And this page displays multiple user images widget. While this page includes a meter widget, a cool gauge, and a knob that acts as a controller. The main idea for this project is to synchronize the touch movements detected by the display with the images saved in the SD card. And this is being done by the touch status functions by the workshop, specifically touch press, touch release, and touch moving. Take note that the images used for the project are GCI in format and can be shown in the display by a series of file load underscore image functions. And that's it for the slide navigation project. Stay tuned as we create more fun stuff you could do with the Gen 4. Please check out our YouTube channel and subscribe. Thanks for watching.